what's going on guys it's omniarch and today i'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about why your favorite gaming organization should be terrified of hundred thieves i can already see you guys typing in the comments you're like my favorite gaming organization is already hundred thieves haha <laughs> lol 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 got them i know i know i see you you're very clever i get it anyway why should your favorite gaming organization be afraid of 100 thieves well my theory is that in the long run we're gonna see 100 thieves take over whatever industry or whatever esport that they are involved in and start to completely dominate they're gonna be the fan favorite within the next couple of years for pretty much any esport that they're a part of now keep in mind that my opinion and my perspective are coming from somebody who lives in North America I live in the United States so of course this isn't really going to apply to esports that are primarily in other countries or you know competing with other teams internationally other countries may favor their you know home teams and things like that but from my perspective as a esports viewer in the United States, I think 100 Thieves is going to be taking and stealing all of your favorite teams. Uh, players and their audience and here's why we're gonna talk about a couple different things um, right now I think that it's pretty obvious that hundred thieves is dominating the the, the scene right now um, and so I want to talk about a couple I want to talk about four different bullet points as to why hundred thieves is doing so much better than all the other esports organizations out there at least in America and then I want to talk about the outcome the long run goal of what hundred thieves has been doing for the last year and a half and where it's going to put them in the next three to five years now really quick before I jump into those bullet points I just want to let you guys know that I don't make anything off of most of my YouTube videos so if you guys want to support me make sure you hit the subscribe button click the bell to be notified for my next upload and then go to the links in the description and follow me on Instagram Twitter twitch everywhere that you can find me links are in the description below and I really really do appreciate it thank you guys so much now this video is gonna be talking about where hundred thieves is gonna be in the next three to five years and I think that that specific thing the, the fact that I can actually say that is the first bullet point as to why hundred thieves is dominating and the reason for that is because hundred thieves has a very intelligent and experienced business team running the operations behind the scenes behind everything that you see on stage and everything that you see in Nate shots videos things like that um, their business team their chief financial officer officer and their chief or operations officer and things like that these guys are only doing things and only investing time and money into things that are going to be profitable in the long run and one of the biggest things that we saw this year within the last you know two three months is that the call of duty team and is is no longer existent the 100 thieves call of duty team is not going to be competing under the 100 thieves banner in the next in the official call of duty franchise league hundred thieves did not spend the money to purchase a league spot i think you know it was somewhere around 20 25 million dollars for a league spot for call of duty which is absolutely an insane amount of money it's way 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 overpriced none of the organizations probably should have spent any money on getting a spot in the league because it's literally just simply not worth that much money like it's actually just it's it's a loss at, at this point point. and this is a major play for hunter thieves because they did super super well in black ops 4 for the uh for the call of duty scene they were a fan favorite by far they had tons of fans superstar uh, uh, uh roster basically coming on stage and dominating every event that they were a part of and you know the the business team behind it looked at the price tag and was like hey look i know these guys are bringing home trophies i know these guys are you know getting the brand out there but it's simply not going to be profitable for us to continue to invest in call of duty if it's going to cost that many millions of dollars and them having that that long-term vision you know instead of just saying well we should buy it because call of duty did well this year it's like okay they did well this year but what if they don't perform well the next two three years and they don't bring any trophies home then you're stuck with a league spot that costed 25 million dollars and they only raised like what 35 million dollars in their in their last series in their series b or, or total it, it's insane how much money it actually costs to 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 buy one of these league slots just for call of duty alone so even though they're a fan favorite in call of duty you know they're looking at the long run and saying hey look like yes they did well this year but it's just not going to be profitable for us to do this 
in the long run and you know they totally could purchase a league spot later on if if other teams decide that they want to back out or something like that they could buy the spot from them who knows how it's going to play out um but 100 thieves doing things for the long run is super super critical um and it's really going to help keep them around for the next couple of years so that way they can continue to grow the next reason why 100 thieves is absolutely dominating right now is because they do apparel better than pretty much anybody else in esports right now I I know phase does have some pretty cool uh, collaborations going on and some really cool limited drops uh, but hundred thieves releasing just their own apparel and selling out in minutes uh, is is really a testament to how much the fans love it and how good the quality actually is so when we look at the hundred thieves apparel you know it's super high quality the fans absolutely love it the designs that they do are made specifically for their fans and they know their fan base super super well and then they, these limited drops sell out insanely fast. So they're able to build up hype and then sell all of their inventory right away for profit within a couple of minutes. And the best part about this is that they really don't have any advertising budget at all for these apparel drops because they actually just utilize their influencers and their players uh, to kind of promote these these limited drops and these pop-ups at certain events uh, and they don't have to spend a dime on marketing their clothes because they already have a huge install base and a huge fan base that you know once courage tweets out that that they're going to be doing an apparel drop or nade shot tweets it out or valkyrie or any of their their pro players you know these uh, the limited drops are going to sell instantly without them having to spend any money marketing these uh, these apparel lines and that is just it's all profit this is how apparel has to be done in esports it's the best way to do it it's the only way to do it um it's not you know just something where we you know they make a couple of designs they outsource someone on fiverr to design something pretty cool and then throw it up on a spreadsheet page and send the link to every single you know team member and they put in the link of their bio and never talk about it like that's what a lot of these these teams are doing or you know like they're they'll post on twitter once saying hey we're releasing a jersey and then that's it like who cares so 100 thieves has the quality and the clout to actually sell out super super fast and i think like i said phase is the only other team that is rivaling them in this specific category but phase is also you know collaborating with champion and other different brands where phase is not taking 100 percent of that revenue there's no way that if they if they team up with a specific brand i really doubt that they're going to be keeping 100 percent of those profits they probably have to split it whereas 100 thieves is just doing this all on their own the next thing i want to talk about is the all-star lineup of investors that we have at 100 thieves i mean we're talking about scooter braun we're talking about drake we're talking about sequoia capital if you guys don't know what sequoia capital is it's a venture capital firm that is international they invest in different companies they think they are they operate in india and china and america they're centered in uh, california and they're they're really widely respected in the venture capital uh space um and they also i'm reading this off my phone because i don't want to get it wrong they back companies that now control 1.4 trillion dollars of combined stock market value that's a t that is a trillion 1.4 trillion of combined stock market value sequoia capital does not mess around they are a big heavy hitter in the uh venture capital space and they would not be putting money into hundred thieves if they didn't think that it was going to to work out uh so the fact that we have this all-star and that's just that's just you know three people or three you know investors that come to my mind right off the right off the dome there's i think like 10 or nine other um big investors investors that invested in 100 thieves and one of the big things that investors bring to the table at this point in 100 thieves life cycle is yes like the money is is great right but there were probably dozens and dozens and dozens of people willing to give uh you know money to 100 thieves but the people that they actually have on board not only have experience in the industry that they're in you know sequoia capital mainly invests in tech companies and things like that and 100 thieves exists online but they also got you know drake and scooter braun where these two are just intern entertainment gods i mean scooter braun it basically made justin bieber and ariana grande and what i think it's martin garrix i mean scooter braun is an absolute legend um and his connections his connections in the entertainment industry are just insanity right they are absolutely insanity um and again drake obviously drake is you know a culture icon i mean he's one of the greatest entertainers of our generation like absolutely no doubt um so you know what these people are bringing to the table is not just millions of dollars but also their experience and their connections to other people in the industry 
unrivaled. I mean, these people are unrivaled. 100 Thieves has probably the best and most powerful investors out of any esports team on the planet. And these people have all of this clout and connection, uh, and we never see any of that. That all happens on phone calls, text messages, DMs. It happens in meetings, things that we don't get to see as fans, but everything that happens behind the scenes, 100 Thieves is able to kind of sneak their way into different, different deals and different, you know, you know, courage working with Ariana Grande like it's just the amount of things that Hunter Thieves is able to do because of their investors you know like that was directly because of Scooter Braun that wouldn't have happened otherwise Hundred Thieves has the greatest investors out of any esports company and you know and I'd only mentioned just a couple but if you look at the list of them it's it's absolutely insane the amount of heavy hitters they have in their in on their team and finally, the fourth bullet point that I want to talk about as to why Hunter Thieves is absolutely dominating esports right now, and, and not to gas him up at all, but uh, Nade Shot is is one of the biggest reasons why uh, Hunter Thieves is doing as well that it is. And any time that Nade Shot is given an award for 100 thieves or or it has to go on stage and give a speech or something like that he's always saying that you know it's his team that's doing the greatest work and i'm sure that that is the case i'm sure that there are hundreds of things that 100 thieves is involved in that nade shot has no idea about you know accounting and marketing and things like that uh, i'm sure he knows a bit about marketing just by being an influencer but regardless what nade shot brings to the table is invaluable because he helped make optic gaming one of the most widely loved and most recognizable esports brands on the entire planet i mean optic gaming had teams in different countries that expanded out of the united states and into you know different uh different games and different countries uh, around the world and nade shot was one of the biggest reasons why that was the case he was one of the greatest um people to start off on twitch in terms of like actual viewers i mean we're talking about nade shot pulling over 10,000 viewers in for certain streams when he first started on twitch which is absolutely insane considering how long ago that that actually was and he's pulling less viewers than that now for most of his regular streams um so for back in the day that was insane i mean he essentially helped build the live streaming community he helped build optic gaming and you know an, a, a, a world renowned esports organization so nade shot essentially is the only one of the only of uh, you know pro players to take that knowledge and build such an incredible brand uh, and nobody really has as much influence or as much insight in esports as nature because he was one of the players he was one of the content creators one of the influencers who was there from the very build beginning to help build the entire scene he helped build the entire you know live streaming scene and youtube scene and and everything like that so you know nate shot is is a pivotal and key player in 100 thieves you know doing what they do best and he brings insight to the table that the investors would have no idea about um, that other people in the business would have no idea about because he's been through it all he's seen it all from a player's point of view a content creator's point of view a youtuber's point of view and everything right um and so having him at the at the helm as like the founder and kind of seeing overseeing a lot of the stuff he has the best insight to say okay we should probably do this or maybe not do that what do you guys think uh, and he's helped, you know, and of course he's had a team that he's helped build him and Jackson, of course, you know, putting this, this great team, uh, assembling this team behind him and kind of bouncing these ideas off of people who, you know, know more about other aspects of the business. He's really got the knowledge and the resources to be a force to be reckoned with in the esports industry so what does this all mean right what is what does this all mean 100 thieves is dominating for all of these different reasons what does this mean well this means that 100 thieves is going to be here longer than your favorite esports organization nate shot himself has said that really phase is the only other organization right now uh that he feels is probably more recognizable more popular and things like that um so besides phase pretty much any other gaming organization right now they should be sweating a little bit they really should be nervous because hundred thieves is in a position to outlast them in terms of cash flow and investments and if they're outlasting them and making more money and more profit off of the merch that they're dropping with no marketing budget uh, that means they're going to be able to purchase the best players moving forward and also exponentially grow their audience because of it because if they're getting the best players on their teams 
those players are bringing their audience with them and it's really going to make hunter thieves an unstoppable force in the esports scene and i really cannot wait to see what they do within the next three to five years because i really do think that hunter thieves is going to be if not the greatest probably in the top three greatest esports organizations most likely on the planet and i would love to hear what you guys have to say about this what do you think do you think do you agree with me do you disagree uh do you think that i'm overhyping them or do you think i'm pretty much right on the money with this i would love to hear your comments in the comments section below um as i said at the beginning of this video guys i don't really make any money off of most of my videos so if you can please subscribe to the youtube channel click that bell if you want to hear uh, a notification anytime that i upload a new video and also be sure to follow me on twitch i live stream there at least twice a week you can follow me also on instagram and twitter links are all in the description below and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching i will talk to you guys again soon peace